Hello everybody, welcome back to Lincoln Farm here on No Man's Land. It is harvest time. I have fast forwarded the time a little bit. I have also created and prepared a meadow. Um, I've got extra fields. Life is good. <laughs> the fields are all done, everything's done. It is all about making that wonderful money as we speak. So yeah, um, once we've done the mandatory headlands around here, we'll go off and we'll start the head, uh, we'll cut the new meadow. Um, got quite a bit to do today, really. I'd like to get all the canola fields done. I've done one already off screen. I was up at 4 a.m. this morning doing it. Don't ask me why, I was just awake, so I got up and thought, you know what, I'm going to get on and have a head start. We also have all the week to do today and tomorrow in game. So today's in game day, tomorrow's, excuse me, in game day. But the sooner we get these to the left of us cut, we can cover the straw, get the straw production going again, making straw hats and storage boxes and whatnot. We've already got the windmill running in the background over there, if you can see, uh, with canola oil. Yeah, life is pretty good. Uh, we do need to place a, um, a cell point for the apples. Um, because they're ready, they've got some uh, pallets of apples ready to go at the base of the trees. Oh, look at that, we're in there. It's just going to hit the trailer if we're not careful. So we'll just scoot by that. Ah, oh, I'm such an awesome person. I part that so well. No issues whatsoever. Ignore that on the left. That doesn't count. That's just a weed. <coughs> oh, that's full. We are full already. But my priority this year, I've decided I know what I'm doing. We're getting a new combine because this one is just not going to be big enough anymore. because it just won't be. <laughs> Turn this one back on. Get in there. Go. So I'll get these, uh, oh, excuse me, I'll get these headlands done and I will see you in the new meadow in just a moment for you, in about 10 minutes for me. And here we are. I have mowed this one this morning the old meadow here is the new meadow i've yet to put the tracks in but if you come around here the idea is we're going to have to come up to here uh, i've got to take these trees out as well uh, but we're going to come up to here and you come around this side to get to this field which i believe has got soybeans in at the moment i wanted to make something out of this field uh, with the potential to go up to that field up there when we buy it. And over here, obviously, is the extended field by the sheep. If we have a little walk around. There we go. And I've also left this pathway open here. Because you never know where that might lead. So, there we go. So, soybeans in there. Soybeans in there. They're halfway through growing. So, lovely stuff. So let's jump back in the John Deere. Get it started. Let's go do the first cut of our new meadow. Look at it, it's massive. It's good, it's going to take a while to pick up and it's going to take a while to cut. But I don't care. <laughs> it's kind of the idea was I need plenty of straw and hay. Well, I need plenty of hay. Got plenty of straw coming. <coughs> so in the future, straw, hay won't be a problem and silage will not be a problem and we're using this mower it's very fast so happy days on that so by the time we've got these headlands done that um, combine should be about ready to be emptied I don't know why it's all jerky, I don't like the jerkiness. There we go. I've 
course this will have to be fertilized and uh, well collected and fertilized this is all going to be hay we, we are using a lot of hay at the moment so we do need some hay uh, and then at the end of the summer the next cut that will be silage the cows have plenty to eat at the moment so they're all good so everything's fed and, and waters that, that uh, requires it I think tomorrow we will need to get some diesel and fertilizer for the coffee bean production so I'm I shouldn't spend that money just yet that we've got that that looks like good money but it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be thrown straight back into the businesses so yeah we won't be spending that money on luxurious things like more land and a combine just yet it's not a massive combine it's bigger than what we've got and I think it will the head is a couple of meters bigger so it should make a bit of a difference in the time it takes to clear the crop Yum. <laughs> I was such a child I'm so sorry but this is going really fast, look at that. It's fantastic. Okay. A nearly full grain tank, that's handy because we've nearly well, to be fair, we could probably do this field by hand. Well actually I don't know, it's quite big, so no, we'll we'll hire a worker in just a second. Because we do need to dry off the grass on the other field as well. So if we put that on there, how's that going to work? Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's okay for a minute. So let's grab... <laughs> wherever you are. There you are. Little Volvo. Oh, lower and turn on. I'll get this dried off. Of course, the real big challenge for this little guy is that field. <laughs> That's fine. A meadow. It's not a field, is it? It's a meadow. I always call it a field. Or is it a field? Is it a meadow when you keep animals in it? Oh. Got the old brain thinking now. Yeah, I'm honestly not sure. Interesting stuff now I've mentioned it. Yeah, so all I'm doing today is I'm gonna win I'm gonna I'm gonna cut all this grass, dry it all off, and tomorrow's video will be uh, well I can't really collect it because we need the windrow for the loading wagon for the straw. So yeah. I'll figure something out. Not sure what. Let's hire a worker for him. Who's completed their task? Oh. You have completed your task. Very nearly completed your task. I am recording. Yes. It's okay. Put that in there. I'll get that finished off and I'll see you in that field over there. So I am now in this field over here. I'm driving all over the crop, it's not very realistic, but realism isn't the key to this game, it's just to have fun. So we'll lock that off. Pick up the header. And be on our merry, merry little way. <laughs> The trailer is full, I will have to run that over to the windmill. But that'll be fine. Look at that. 
but it's lovely. We're going to get to go by the cows for the first time. Yeah. Yes, that fence goes into the water there to keep ramblers out, even though they could just climb over it in theory, but in my brain it makes sense. <laughs> I mean, in a way, we could do away with this fence, couldn't we? And we could harvest from this side first, I suppose. But then again, by the time you've driven all the way round... Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we could, I suppose. We could take this fence away. Leave this rather adorably annoying tree. But take the fence away, I suppose. I'll think about it. I'll see. I'll get the head done, done and I will be back with you in a moment. Oh, no more space for pallets of eggs. All right, okay. I guess we're loading those up in a moment. Turns out this guy, it's only 7 a.m. I've been at it for an hour. Um, I did start harvesting at 6 a.m., but not on screen. So this guy's finished, so we can drag him out the way. We'll take him down to the other meadow. The little Volvo is finished. So, well, pretty much finished. So he can then go onto the big field. Here's the apple trees, see? Make him, make him money. <laughs> making money I do believe that's wheat at the back there as well so we've got a lot of wheat which is good uh, we, we've lasted a year look 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 in the productions if we look at the flower we've lasted almost a year it ran out this morning so that's not a bad feat is it I don't think so again we'll do the 
around and get that. The harvester is full. It's not doing anything at the moment. It's full, but it needs me to drive it round. So, at the minute, I don't mind it not doing anything. We all lowered. There we go. Yeah, so it's just sitting there waiting for me to get caught up. So, yeah. I'm thinking about getting rid of the little John Deere. Now, I do like the John Deere. I like that model, so I might get a new one. One that's multiplayer compatible, so my friend Dean can join eventually. Soft Squad Gaming. He would like to come on here. He might feature. Special guest, you know. You never know. See what we've got in for him to do. So we do the first cut of the year. See, so it's not a very big cut, is it? Um, well, it'll be alright. Then all this is going to be hay, man. That's, gonna be, that's a lot, isn't it? What do you think? It's going to be quite a lot of hay. Um, but I don't have an issue at all with that. There's a lovely wheat ready to go. Potatoes would be due on August 1st, I think, so in two days' time. We'll have all the potatoes going nuts for us as well. So, yeah, we are in pretty good shape. I think before then I have to make sure the potato factory is full of what it needs, like water or whatever it is. Um, but I don't mind doing all that off camera to keep it running. Off camera, off video, you know what you know what I mean. So yeah, it's it's uh oh. not always goes to doesn't always go to plan. Can you tell? Ooh, we'll turn around this way then. <laughs> Makes no difference to me. You know what, I'm going to get this done on camera because it's nice to see a full meadow get cut, I suppose. Even if I'm missing like a quarter of the mower. But it doesn't matter. It's my farm, I'll do it as I like. That's why I always say. So this could be quite a long video today. I'm hoping it'll be about 45 minutes to an hour long. It probably will be longer than that, actually. I don't even know what it is at this point. Um, but it's nice to see proper farm work going on instead of just jump cutting all the time. At least that's what I think, anyway. If you prefer the jump cuts, let me know. Once this mowing is done, this tractor will then be freed up to do more work around the farm. I don't know what yet. But it can be freed up. Maybe to pull the forage wagon, I think. Once we start on the straw. Should be tomorrow's video. Heading into the weekend. It would be nice, wouldn't it, to have this all wrapped up before the weekend. I don't think we will. But it would be nice. Today's game done. Today's in game day done, but this will lead into Monday, I should think. Let's get it all done. There we go, look at that. Perfect finish. Right, we can put that back. I'll get that put back and I'll see you back here in a moment. Just gonna finish off this wet grass that I missed. Or the, or the worker mist. There we go. I think I have to fold it to get through the gate, I'm not sure. Oh no, no, it should be okay. Right, now, let's go around.
Oh, it's going to struggle a bit here. We're going to have enough fuel to do all this field. I don't think we will. I might have to nip off and get some fuel before we start the headlands. So there'll be a jump cut. <laughs> we'll do one lap and then I'll go and get fuel. And then the next time you see this, we'll be heading off into the distance doing the heading. Like I said, I'm still going to use this old machinery, the smaller machinery. It's probably going to slow us down, but at the same time, not any rush. <laughs> so, we have all day to get both of these crop types done. And I am going to move into soybeans or something different at some point, maybe even sunflowers, on the next fields because we need to make an income while everything else is. Why are you saying that we make an income, don't we? We really do. All the factories do their thing. But it'd be nice to harvest something that's not um, wheat, <laughs> I suppose. But we'll do all that. We'll worry all about that once we get the new combine. It will be more diverse with the new combine. Oh, don't forget that square field, the original field, that's going. That, that'll be turned into a pig farm. There'll be a piggery there. Piggery? Pigsty? Pig, pig, pigsty. Pigsty there. Um, in the near future. But that's all after... The, this'll, that'll be next year. That'll be after uh, we've brought the combine. Right. Go get some fuel. And I'll do another headland or two. And then I'll be back with you. There we go. We just dropped off our full trailer from the second canola field. As you can see, I've added a bit more class to the driveway. I don't know where to go from there. Cobblestone driveway? What do you think? I've walled that off there because there will be productions going in there. So it makes it a bit more secure from a farm point of view. There are gates on that driveway wall now. Should have shown you that. I'll show you that in a bit. We're going to go back through there to do this field. Uh, in just a little bit. Well, for you it will be probably instantaneously. Because I don't think you need to see this field being done as well as the other field. So that feels more interesting. I will see you in that field in... I don't know, sometime. In the near future for me and in the instant future for you. And we have a brainwave. While I was over there cutting the uh, field which is still going on, I thought, why don't I do a couple of rounds of the hay, get it windrowed and collected. There's less to do or worry about once we've got the straw. See, he's over there. He's going to be a while yet. So we might as well. Not a bad idea, to be fair. My wonderful brain decided to deny me that knowledge while I was talking to you guys. So I'm going to get this wind rowed up and collected. So a little job done. While I wait for the harvester over there to fill up. But yeah, we'll use the big John Deere to cart the hay away. Hay away. <laughs> oh, I kill myself. I'm so hilarious. You know, I'm just going to let the wind row run and see what it comes up with. Getting full. How is my tractor? That's okay. We can empty that quickly. Is it going to stop before? I think it is. Well, we're stopping where it needs a service. Yeah, it stopped. Yeah. So we'll empty this quick and then we'll get on with the wind row. Right, let's start with some windrowing. How bad of a job is this guy doing? Oh, not too bad. You know, we can we can we can live with that, I suppose. So if we get to here, is he going to finish? He's finishing off over there. I don't know what he's doing. Is he? Oh, hang on, he's finished. Uh, I think he's finished. 
don't know where he's going. You're done. Thank you very much. Look at that. Wonderful stuff. I can just see loads of money. <laughs> loads of... Uh, well, it's not even really loads of money, is it? Because uh, it's all going towards the animals. But it's really not a bad thing. Right, I can't get out the uh, field until this guy moves. So we'll just put him here. We'll take the windrow, and you know what? I'm just gonna gonna hire a worker and let him. Oh, I can't because it's got a fence around it. Right, okay, we're, we're gonna have to do a windrow around the outside to try and discourage him from going. Has he ignored the? Oh no, he's followed the... Oh, okay, yeah, he has followed the instructions. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, great. I'll get on with that. I'll be back in a second. I'm waffling, I do apologise. Yeah, that's the headlands done. I'm going to pick up some grass with this. The um, worker has finished up in the field. Over there. That's fine, I want to get some of this cleared. Because we will be using this trailer... And this tractor a lot for the straw, so we need to do the hay first, really. But we've got plenty of time. We've been at it an hour and a half in real time. And we're quite away, you know, we're quite we're quite far done. We've done three fields, two meadows, three meadows cut, two meadows wind um, dried, dried grass. So, you know, it's not a bad effort, really, in an hour and a half. It's very busy. I'm very tired. <laughs> having to keep track of what I'm doing but uh, I'm enjoying myself um, you know, it's it's nice so yeah, the next plan is we're going to start on that field so I will move all the equipment over once I've filled this up once we've at least got rid of the outside three, two, two, three I don't know what it is. See, he's really going for it on there. Look, he's fine. He's happy. Yeah, he's happy. He's happy. I'm happy. Doesn't have the tightest of turning circles, this, though. I will admit. Maybe it wasn't the best choice for the smaller field. But, you know, it is what it is. See, we can pick this loose stuff up as we go along. No matter if we miss a few bits, I think we've got plenty of hay now. So that's nice. I'm going to fill this with this road, do you think? Yeah, it's easy. There we go. Let's take this over to the silo. Yep. Nice and steady. Nice steady drive in this tractor. It's only 20 miles an hour. It's actually one of the slower ones. Uh, but it's fine. It's making light work of everything we're giving it to do. So, it's a valuable asset on the farm. It really is. Okay, so I'm jumping on the little Volvo. Now I'm going to go and dry the other grass. It's a lot of grass work today. A lot of grass work. Let me just check I haven't caught the stop recording button. Nope, we're all good. So this is the last time around. Uh, and then I will get back to we'll move the equipment over from the other field to the final canola field to get that done I've done really fast actually to be fair um, yeah but I'm going to tidy up that last meadow 
get the last straggle bits out of there. Um, out of there, even. Out of? Out of? Doesn't matter. <laughs> you be you, remember that. <laughs> um, yeah, but maybe... I don't know what to do, I don't know what... I think we're going to have to split the wheat harvest into, into several videos next week, I think. Because we've got a lot of them. You know, there is an awful lot of them. Well, of it, should I say, not of them, of it. Excuse me, right, he's happy. Right, let's have a look. Carry on. Carry on doing you, please. Yeah, this tractor's not the best for this kind of work. He's a bit lacking on the steering capability really especially in the small field but he has gone to town over there is he finished no he's doing a good job over there the little volvo such a good buy <laughs> it really was i'm so pleased i brought it but yeah between now and the next video i will also put the track in to the video to the fields or at least before the harvest so we can see where we're going and detree some of the route as well I really want to get this bit in this corner, if I can. Did I get it? Oh, I think I got it. Or at least got a chunk of it. Same along here, I want to just get a bit of this loose stuff. There you go, so you can see the trailer doing its thing. Probably this makes my graphics die a bit when you pull out. <laughs> pull out of the camera. Zoom out the camera. There we go. Zoom out the camera. Yeah. I don't know what to do next, to be honest. Um, because we've got all that to do as well, uh, which isn't finished yet. But we'll, no, we'll dump this off. I'll get the equipment moved, and we'll see how we go. Closing the gate so we can load the equipment up. Just fold them, fold them up, fold the um, harvester while we sort this out. Uh, yeah, the wind, the tether is having issues. It keeps doing a row and then a stopping, so that's something I'm gonna have to sort out off screen. We are very, very near to finishing this video. We've just got to get this um, last field done. Here's our new pretty driveway. Isn't it cool? I mean, I like it. <laughs> you may not like it, but I like it. Let's uh, try and hug the fence a bit with it, actually. Yeah, 
Yeah, perfect. Oh, don't want to fall in there. Unfortunately, I can't hire a worker on this one. I really need that with a field doing, don't I? So, yeah, it's going to be a long afternoon for me, I think. I think I'm going to have to uh, off screen that. Off screen collecting that meadow. Actually, I don't know. No, I might leave it. I might leave it. I might figure something out with a live stream or something over the weekend. Yeah, so keep an eye out. I, might, I may or may not do a live stream around 8 p.m. over the weekend, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday nights. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not Friday because that's normally Daisy, but I'm getting a bit. I wouldn't say I'm getting tired of Daisy, but we're doing the same thing all the time. We're not really going off and adventuring and exploring. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I feel like maybe we should look into that a bit more. Again, this was probably going to take about 15 minutes to do, I should think. So I won't bore you, I won't make you watch the whole uh, harvesting. Just know that when we get this done, we'll be pretty much wrapping the video up. So if you have stuck around this long, thank you. If, if you and uh, if you haven't, well, nerd to you. <laughs> but yes, so it'll be instant for you. I will see you in a second. So I got a bit carried away and I finished the field. That is all the canola done. Crash into the gate. There's a gate. Look, see I told you we had a gate. That's all the canola done. I'm going to take this up to the first wheat field uh, so we can start that in the next episode. Uh, and then we'll have a quick look at the meadow before I end the video because I think it has gone on for quite some time now. Right, that's the combine set up over at the field ready for the next video. Uh, yeah, this guy has done a wonderful job. Look at that. Yes, this is going to take some clearing. Um, but yeah, uh, this little dude has surpassed my expectations. He's done a wonderful job. So that's good. Uh, we are coming up to nearly 40 minutes, so I will be wrapping this video up very, very shortly. I just wanted to share with you how long this video, how long this field will actually take with this eight and a half thousand litre trailer which I suppose we could upgrade at some point if we wanted to because we have the bigger tractor yeah this is going to take some time <laughs> yeah quite a long time but I don't think it will take as long as you think maybe a little while but not long I think I think if I do this off camera put some music on jobs are good and isn't it yeah I think so but anyway there you have it guys thank you so much for sticking around and watching uh, any comments and feedback is always welcome please feel free to come and say hello I don't I don't bite or anything um, that's a very narrow track I don't know if that's gonna be widened at some point but yeah please come and say hello please leave comments and like subscribe if you like what I'm doing um, let me know if you don't like what I'm doing let me know and why don't just say it's rubbish or anything like that see what am I doing wrong or what would you like to see anything like that feedback is good I can't guarantee I'll do it but I can at least listen and take on board what it is people are enjoying or not enjoying about these videos uh, would you rather me do another series at the same time I don't know I personally love this farm <laughs> it's not going anywhere anywhere soon especially this side of Christmas so yeah uh, so take care guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one don't forget make good choices and be safe take care guys